buddy Eat Pass here, and I'm building my second level. I'm gonna put it in the forest, and one thing I really wanna do this time is is make it with a a, a sun, but not a sun. I'm gonna switch it to the moon. Oh, isn't that pretty, guys? Oh, uh, yeah, now it's nighttime. But the big thing I wanted to focus on was making a cool rising poison water level. So you see that at the bottom with the purple? I'm going to make it so that rises and falls and you have to make sure you don't get stuck in it. So we're gonna grab a, a slope here that's gonna go down into the poison water. So let's see, I'm gonna put it here. And, oh, I gotta scoot it around a little bit. So we're gonna pull that and put it here. And I'm gonna make it a little bit longer. Maybe, yeah, that's feeling pretty good. Okay, okay, and we're gonna put some flat ground again. And then I'm gonna make it go up again. Oh, oops, okay, we'll just keep going and get rid of that spot. And let's see. That's exactly what I want. And now we're gonna make a slope going up in the other direction. There we go, perfect. So let's see, well, yeah, that seems high enough. Okay, and we can fill in the bottom part. And, oh, okay, we're gonna keep scooting this over and down. Yeah, that's feeling pretty good. Cool. So let's see, from here, I'm gonna put down a question mark block. I'm gonna put inside of it a feather. So when you get the feather, you turn into big Mario with a cape so you can fly through the air. So that's super cool. So I'm gonna grab on to that. And let's see, I'm gonna figure out how to switch the poison level now. So it's gonna start all the way at the bottom here. And I want it to come up that high. Yeah, just as high as so you're barely above the level. Perfect, okay. That looks pretty good. And do I wanna have it that high? No, the, it should go down the farthest it can and the highest it can. So it feels like real danger. Yeah, that's feeling good, that's feeling great. Okay, let's try this out. So let's see and jump. And I'm gonna get it, perfect. Nice, and you see the moon over there? Oh, he went into the ocean. <laughs> All right, oh, but he popped out. Okay, this is feeling pretty good. So let's see, what should I do next? Let's put down, yeah, we'll put down a bunch of these blocks. Hmm, maybe. Not sure. Okay, yeah. I think what I'm gonna do is build one, uh, one of those areas that you have to jump from one pillar to the next and the next. Yeah, that's what I'll do. But it'll, it'll be really tricky, especially if you don't get that feather. Oh boy. So let's see. I'm liking how that feels. That feels good. And we'll do another one, make it a little bit longer. Hmm, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll do another even higher one. I'm gonna put it a little close here. And another one. Maybe you can run across these ones if you want, but I should add something else to them too. I'm thinking, hmm, maybe an enemy in between them so it feels especially perilous. Oh uh, yeah, that'll be tricky. Okay, so we'll put some more down all the way. Cool, cool, cool. And Oh, right, right. So I definitely want to put some spinies in between all those. Yeah, so you have to make sure you don't hit them. I'm not sure if you could hit them by running across. You can always do one of the spin jumps over them, though. So that, I think that'll work. That'll be enough that people won't be sure what they're supposed to do. All right, so let's see. Let's add another slope in going back down. Oh, whoops, that was a little close. We're gonna pull it back over here. And let's see, we're gonna put that there and scoot this down back into the poison sea. <laughs> People are gonna have to be really careful to not hurt themselves, so let's see. Oh, and we're really close to the end there. Hmm, oh, okay. Uh, all right, feeling good. Let's, let's fill this area in. At least that spot. Okay, so you've got this, this slope here at the end, but I'm going to put some blocks so you can't get there right away. So it's a little bit tricky. Oh, oh, 
I didn't want to do that. Uh, I just wanted to get rid of this block. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm not sure. Well, let's just keep going and see what it feels like. I just gotta make sure I don't delete that slope, because I really want the slope to go down. Yeah, that's even. We'll get rid of the top so you're just barely above the poison level. Alright, that's feeling pretty good. But what else do I need? Maybe I can just build a wall. A really, really big wall. Yeah, so you get to the end and you're like, oh, how do I get to the end? If there's a wall in the way, y you won't be able to get there. Oh, that'll be super tricky. All right, all the way up. Oops. Get rid of that. All the way. Yeah, that's pretty high. Yeah, even if you do have the cave, you'd look at that and go, I can't get over that wall. But I'm gonna scoop this up a little bit. Keep it nice and even. We're gonna move that one over to... Perfect. Do you hear what it's saying? It's saying hard block each time I move one. <laughs> all right, yeah, and I don't want that being on the slope, so I'll have to scoot this all over. Just moving them real slow. But, you know, that's what's fun about making these things. You do one thing, you decide you want to do something else. It's a lot of fun! So, yeah. Mm. Okay, now that that's set, I'm going to put a couple more. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Hmm. But what else do I want to add? Hmm. Oh, yeah, we can put down a trampoline. You're going to have to practice your trampoline skills to get over the wall. So check it out. You have to jump from that trampoline up to this top one. And you have to jump high enough to get over it. But I still think I built it too tall. Hmm. And I guess I don't need those anymore. And I'll scoot that over so you don't get stuck underneath that that one brick. So it'll be it'll be good. That feels pretty good. And you'll jump all the way to the top and jump over the wall. Hmm. But mm, yeah, yeah, that seems right. Oh, or you could jump up and land on this little spot right here, and there can be a bunch of cool things over here. Yeah. Hmm. Let's. See. And there's the spinies, and you can do the, the secret run over them where you're gonna have to jump. I don't know, I think I'm getting a really good idea here, guys. It's feeling, I'm feeling like this is gonna be a really good level. All right, so this is gonna be the area where you have to jump to, but I'm gonna put a bunch of spinies down. So you have to do a, a spin jump over them. Hmm. But they could just jump over that wall, and I don't want that. What if I put, like, a, a passageway or a switch block to try and get them over here? Yeah. So, we'll put a bunch more so you have to spin over all the spinies. And then, you're going to have to make sure you get a key to get into a door. Yeah. That, that seems about right. So let's see. Ooh, and I really want to use this on-off switch. They're so cool. I've seen some people make really amazing on-off switch levels. I have to at least try using them. So let's see. A wiggler. Hmm. Maybe some more Koopa Troopas. Those are always good. Especially if you put one down here, it'll hit the on-off switch. Okay, that feels right. That feels good. Hmm. Maybe... What else can I add here? Well, oh, right, I need, I need these blocks. So, you have to use the special red and dotted line blocks, and those are the ones that the on-off switch works on. So, I'm gonna make people jump up from each red block to the next, but sometimes it'll turn into blue blocks, so we're gonna have to be careful. Hmm. All right. Yeah, that seems pretty tricky. That'll be tricky to run across. So if I put another one down here, then I can switch. I think I can switch it to the blue blocks. 
Oh yeah, there it is, the ones with the dotted lines. Okay, perfect. So we'll do that for the rest of these so people have to be really careful when they're jumping across because they might, one of their blocks might fall out from under them if they're not careful. So let's see. Okay, we're gonna go back to regular blocks here. Okay, cool, cool. I'm liking how this is looking. Hmm. Yeah, so, so this will be the end spot for that. And this is where I'm gonna put the key. Yeah, okay. Right here, perfect. And that seems pretty good. Now where, oh, right. The door will go here, and I'll drag, yeah. So that means that this door needs a key to be opened. And we'll put the other end of the door all the way back here. Perfect. Okay, so I've marked where that spot is, but I can actually just get rid of the blocks and you'll fall right onto the goalpost. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna go back here. And I gotta make sure I put the key in the, in, in the question mark. Okay. Eeps Perilous Poison Passage, are you guys ready to play? All right, let's head out, Mr. Moon. All right, so we're gonna jump and I'm gonna get the, the, the cape and I'm gonna carefully jump over all of these and you wanna be careful of that moon, he'll get you. And if I spin jump, if I accidentally land on the spinies, I won't get hurt. So you get to the end here, and I'm gonna jump, and I'm gonna jump off of these trampolines. Ugh. Oh, and I, I got the moon, I squashed him. If I run across here and jump, and whew, I avoided the spinies, and if I use the Koopa Troopa shell, I can jump carefully over these switching blocks. So I have to make sure that I land on the one that's gonna be turning to a different color. Or I can just jump over all of them. All right, there we go, and I've got the key, and if I go through the door, I did it, guys! We beat the level! Come and play my level on, on Mario Maker 2, guys! I had fun, and so will you!